death trap. Deadly hit and runs and wrecks are piling up. Yesterday here at 5, we told you FDOT is taking action to make it safer. Upgraded crosswalks, pedestrian beacons, better signing, all part of a project designed towards safety. Wink News reporter Annalise Iraola in the studio with us now on this. Annalise, you talked with traffic experts today. Is any of this going to help? One traffic expert I spoke with said you can put all the signs up in the world. That doesn't mean people are going to follow them. But people who work and live on the road are hopeful it will lead to improvements. The problem with Palm Beach Boulevard is that there's more than just one. In the morning, it can get pretty nasty. Uh, you got a lot of people pulling in, pulling out. Of course, the condition of the road isn't as great as some of the other roads in Fort Myers. Willie Webb works at a business on the road and sees these problems every day. A lot of people will just kind of dart across trying to get over like uh, by Marsh Avenue. It can get pretty ugly over there with uh, pedestrians just randomly jumping out in traffic. Pedestrian deaths from cars have been a reoccurring issue on the road. The problem is many of those pedestrian deaths have been hit and runs. It's that mindset because we're not used to pedestrians. We don't look for little things as drivers. We're used to cars, mm. trucks, not people. I think we need to put more emphasis on making the drivers aware of their responsibility when it comes to pedestrians in particular. The Florida Department of Transportation has a safety project in the works in the area on State Road 80 from Veronica Shoemaker Boulevard to Kingston Drive. FDOT says the project will upgrade six existing mid-block crosswalks to include pedestrian hybrid beacons and the latest signing and pavement marking safety treatment. We saw these PHBs installed on 41 last year. Year. FDOT said they greatly reduce injuries and deaths on the roads. We found out that if we could implement these PHBs, we would reduce and probably even eliminate uh, folks from serious injuries and even death by 69%. For people who live and work on the boulevard, this safety project is one solution in the works. The infrastructure of the traffic is just going to keep up with the growth of the city and it's growing very, very fast. Additions like this would be very, very good for the community. Funding for construction for the safety project is expected to start in winter of 2024. We'll be sure to keep you informed as this project moves forward. Back to you. All right, thank you very much.